Hello. Hello. My name is Justin, and uh, I'm calling about a property that I saw on Zillow at uh, 505 Glory Road. Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. I've got the right place. Um, yes. All right. Uh, well, my name is Justin, like I said, and I'm a real estate investor, and I'm looking to get another investment property. Um, I saw this one. It looked pretty interesting to me. And I thought I would just give you a call and ask you a few questions and uh, let you ask me a few questions. And if it's a good fit, great. And if not, um, I don't mind telling you no, and you, you don't mind telling me no, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what, what, can you tell me a little bit about the house? How long, how long have you lived there? Okay. I see. So has it been va has it been vacant then since then? It, it's been it's been vacant for about a year and a half. Okay. Wow. Um why so the whole time it's been on the market it's been vacant. Oh, I see. And you have it listed with a realtor then? I did. Um okay. I thought I've had it listed with two different realtors. Yeah. But I I think because because it's maybe a little further out in the country than people want. Yeah. You know, that yeah. it, or else it's, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just a rural area. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I noticed that. And uh, I, I thought maybe, you know, with the population being pretty low around there, that might be the case. Uh, but, I, but, but, you know, thank you for confirming that. I, and, I, and I know that probably puts you in a pickle a little bit with that. Um, being a year and a half, I mean, how, how do you do, how do you survive that? No, oh, well, no, the house is paid for. Oh, okay. So you're, you're not getting eat up with payments. Well, that's a good thing. Well, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, and now you're just doing for sale by owner then no realtor, huh? No, there, there's, there's no realtor right now. Oh. Um, I but the house, it, it needs like a moisture barrier under it. Okay. And there's there's a little bit of damage on the back floor, the very, like the very edge of yeah. the back floor yeah. from that. Okay. And, you know, that's deterring people too. And I don't have the money to fix it. What do you think it'll cost to fix? Well, I had somebody come out there and look at it and they said about, it'd be about 7000 to fix it. Wow. Okay. You know, Putting the moisture barrier down, yeah. um, changing. They'd have to yeah. do like one sheet of the plywood, yeah. so you can't just you know cut it and right. do it. And anyways, labor and everything. That's you know, But you know, I know that I have it listed for ninety nine. Uh huh. But if somebody was interested in it for less. I would take it. When you say less, what do you mean? I mean like considerably less, like maybe 80000 Okay. All right. What do you think it's worth, you know, if it were in tip-top shape? I know the tax assessor values it, it and the shop. He's probably... At 100, 168000 Wow, okay. And I was going to say he's yeah. probably low, actually, huh? I mean, typically. You know, there, there's an enclosed shop in it that has electricity and everything run to it with concrete floors. Yeah. And, and you know, steel beams and everything. And it, it's, I would say it is probably both sides at least 40 by 30. So good size place. It, yes, it's a very good size shop, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um... You know, you have answered all the questions I can think of actually at this moment. And I feel like you, you've made me more interested in it. <laughs> so, Wonderful. yeah, I, I, uh, I like what you're, what you're saying. Um, I mean, and you are looking for a cash offer to get, to get this out of your life, basically. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, do you, are, do you live very far away or? Alabama. Okay. Um, well, what I, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. 
Um, I'm actually just for full disclosure, I'm actually in Kansas city. That's where I live. And I'm a real estate investor, but I, I buy properties all over the, the country. So, um, this one here kind of caught my attention for a, a couple, couple personal reasons really. But what I'd like to, what I'd like to do is I think what maybe would be a good place. I've got, I've got some boots on the ground there, so to speak. I've got some, uh, close partners and, uh, they'll be able to help me out with anything that I need there, you know, as far as going there or, or whatever may need to happen. But, um, I'd like to just start maybe with sending you a, a like a email, a letter, um, and it's, it's kind of like my offer really, but it's just a place to kick off talking, um, about how we would go about doing this. And okay. is that sound okay? Can I get your email to do that? You can. Okay. Okay. It's, it's all, all lowercase. Okay. Hello. Hi, my name is Justin and I'm calling about a property, uh, that, uh, I, I guess it used to be listed on the market uh, to, for sale, but I'm actually a real estate investor looking to buy one. And so it's uh, okay. 1009 Sienna Hills Lane. Yeah. Okay. I got yeah. the right place. Awesome. All right. Well, I, I appreciate you taking my call. Like I said, uh, I'm Justin and I'm actually a real estate investor and uh, I'm looking to buy another investment property and uh this one was listed for sale but it's it, i don't guess it is anymore is it are you looking to sell it still yeah. okay awesome are you are you uh doing for sale by owner now or anything like that like uh like is, are you listing it anywhere or or trying to do that or you just kind of give up on it i'll probably put it back up on the market a little bit i see i see with a realtor okay uh well how long have you lived there man and, uh, well, I just want to know how familiar and intimate you are with the place so that I know when I ask you, uh, you know, what's wrong with the property or what's going on with the property, I know whether or not you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I just I got off the phone. Uh, all right. Well, so uh, so you have lived there. So you, you're familiar with the place pretty, pretty intimately. Uh, good. Yeah. Okay, super. Is there anything wrong with it? No. Okay, so it's in great condition. Super good. What do you, what do you got to have out of it and what do you think it's worth, man? Probably worth about three twenty-five, three G thirty-five. Okay. And um, what 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 do you what do you think you got to get, man? Without realtors being involved and all that. What's that got to do with it? What what are you asking for the place? Oh, you want the full three hundred twenty-five? Well, well three twenty-five would be the low side, but yeah. Okay. I see. I'd probably take 325 today. All right. It, so when you had it listed, man, remind me, what was it listed for that? 340. Oh, 340. Okay. So, so you'd probably net somewhere around there. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, being an investor, uh, I don't know how I'd make money on that, man, at that, at that price. Um, we'll go find somebody else to buy it from. Just needs to make money. Wants to give you money instead of them thinking themselves. I, I couldn't. I, really, I, I could. I, I, I bought the house, to make money. That's what I plan on doing. It'll make money. I'll get it sold. Oh, I'm I, not worried about selling it. Okay. It to do. I don't care. Okay, I, I understand. I appreciate where you're coming from. Uh, you sound like you're not. I'm kind of in a hurry myself uh, to do something on something. Um, this one here, I like it uh, from what I can tell. And that's full in the city and full of your mouth in a in summer, but are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean I've had a tenant in there, that's one of the reasons why I didn't sell. So I see. I kicked the tenant out. So you know, right now. Would you uh change month? Would I you I don't care. Oh this month, next month, month after it'll sell. Okay. Would you consider a a creative solution like maybe would you rent it to me for a couple of years if I uh was interested in buying it then after the uh, the, the two years? You like a lease option? Yeah, something like that. How much do I pay for the lease? Uh, you mean monthly? Well, I, what do you think it's uh, what's comfortable? Well, I got it rented right now for the sixteen fifty. Okay, well, it doesn't sound too bad to me, man. I mean, I actually figured you'd say more than that. To be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, that's 
what it's worth. It's probably probably get a little more. I read it to the guy for sixty and fifty because you know him and his wife are doctors. They live it's right behind the hospital, so I they see. go over there. They're, they could stay there for three, four years and do their residency. Okay. So, I mean, it's a solid tenant. Yeah. It's a good house. She'd probably need some carpet, maybe a little paint, but, okay. uh, you know, well, they're sure. it for sixteen fifty. And, right. And, you know, I've, okay. I got it for sale. It's month, month. It's not going <laughs> anywhere unless somebody wants to live in it. I've got a partner uh, right there. I'm actually in Kansas City. I, you probably noticed my my area code exchange on your caller ID is not not there in Las Vegas, but I have a partner there. You're not from New York City, I can tell you that. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I'm not, I'm certainly not that slick, uh, and I don't even sound that way. Uh, yeah. So um, I've got a partner there. His name's Angelo, and uh, what I what I'd like to do is I'd like to have him reach out to you and get a get an offer to you or go go look at the house. Um, but it sounds like you know. I still see how you guys are going to turn this into a money maker. I think I, I got to just about every penny he's got of it. I got to rent it out. Unless yeah. you guys want to take over the rent, you think the property's going to go up in value? But what you're saying, money. Yeah, I mean, w well, that's exactly kind of what what we're thinking is uh, that there's there's a way to make money there, and that you know, being an investor, that's what I'm all about, you know, with real estate. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see an opportunity. I'd like to at least just kind of go down that path a little bit with you if you don't care and see what happens. But, um, I, it, so I'll have Angelo reach out to you if you don't mind. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I appreciate it, sir. Look forward to hearing from you or talking to you again sometime. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. What do you think of that, Angelo? Yeah, I was a little bit surprised. Uh huh. Uh, but it worked out. Yeah. You turn it on, it worked out. Um, you were kind of aggressive with the guy. Yes, yes. But he was also kind of aggressive with me, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. So I mirror. That's what I do. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, stop sharing your screen with me for a minute so I can see you. <laughs> uh, uh, How do I do that now here? Yeah. Stop share. Okay. So, so uh, have you seen the. Uh, the, the call notes that I sent you were the three sections, the agenda, the qualification and the closing. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the pattern of the call that I just made that I just have in that. I just, that I have every time I do it. So, um, to make the call, follow that pattern. But another thing that you brought up is I mirror a lot. So if a person's real laid back, like I just got off the phone with another coaching student on a three-way call right before you and this lady was real laid back and calm and cool guess what so was i i was calm and cool and slow talking and but now that guy was kind of aggressive so yeah, yeah i kind of mirror it back i see okay i'm not i'm not here to be abused i'm a but real estate investor you got some shit you want to sell i might be interested in buying it but i'm not here to get whipped mm-hmm that's the attitude, you know? That's good. And, that's good. Yeah. And I want you to have that attitude um, because that's how you get deals. Now that guy there on a motivation scale now of one to 10, where was he? Ten. Ten it, yeah. Ten's hot. One's not. He started out. I thought at like a three or four, you know, yeah. like not too hot, man. And kind of a kind of aggressive with me, and not, you know, not really. I'll 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 hold on to it for a couple, two or three months, and then I'll maybe I'll put it back on the rental market, or put it back with a realtor, or maybe I'll rent it out again, or you know, like not very motivated, D asking me questions like, well, what's that got to do with it? And, you know, real combative. But yeah. then, but because I mirrored him, yeah. He, he backed off a little bit and we at least got through the conversation. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. <laughs> that sounds good. What was the address of the property that you just called? Oh yeah. Let me tell you that. That was, uh, one. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.